Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to have some Division 19 online gameplay, and we're going to be using the current welterweight champion, Kamara Usman. In this game, Usman doesn't really fit the meta. In fact, if you look at the welterweight division, it's, it's a very stacked division, and in terms of who's good to use on the game, Usman probably wouldn't be high up. I mean, if you look now, you've got Gilbert Burns, who I think is the best fighter in the division. You've got Tony Ferguson, who's probably second. Then you've got Jorge, Leon. And if I'm looking to grapple, I won't even really be using Usman. Like I said, I'd probably rather use Gilbert Burns. And rather than Burns, I'd probably go with Colby Covington. And then maybe even GSP. I mean, they've done a terrible job with Usman on the game. I mean... I know he's not a fan favourite in real life, obviously, because of the way he fights and his style. And despite what you may think, his style is very, very effective. However, on this game, they've done an awful job. I mean, his character model first is excellent. I mean, that's how big he is in real life. And they've done a good job of illustrating that because he's absolutely huge in real life. And not only that, he's just just the, the pure size. And like you can see just the weight of him. He doesn't... He doesn't look like a welterweight, which is realistic in real life, he looks massive. But what they've done is they've made him incredibly, incredibly stiff. I mean, I don't think I've used a more stiff fighter. He's very hard to play with, he's hard to do anything with. And I'm just going to give you tips on how I think you should be using Usman if you'd like to use Usman. And it's, it's going to be a very, very simple tip, and that is... You're going to have to do what he does in real life. You're going to look to clinch. You're going to look to grapple. And what you're going to want to do is hold that opponent down for five rounds. Or three rounds. However long the duration of the fight is. You do not want it on the feet. And if you look at other grapplers in other divisions. I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. Obviously you've got Habib. You've got Daniel Cormier. You've got Henry Cejudo. You've got Damian Meyer. Jacare Souza, and out of that list, Curtis Blaze as well. Out of these, the the fighters I've just given, there is not a fighter there that I'd say I'm not comfortable using on my feet. I mean, even Damian Meyer, who cannot strike, I feel more comfortable on the feet with than Kamal Usman. And although Usman does have power in his hands, let's let's get that out of the way. He can rock people. His boxing feels dreadful. He's kicking dreadful. I mean, his whole stand-up game is awful. And if you're trying to use Usman and you've been having difficulty, I, I can understand why. What you're going to want to do is smash your opponent. And if you're struggling to get them on the ground, which is where you need them, you're going to have to clinch like he does in real life. And it's going to make the fight boring. Your opponent's not going to be happy. But if you fight how Usman fights in real life, you you could be very dominant on the game. And it took me a while to get used to him. It took me a while to use him. And I didn't really want to at first because most fights I was going into, I was facing someone, for instance, like Jorge. And if I couldn't get that fight onto the ground, I'm losing within two rounds. Because I cannot box with Usman. I can't kick any form of stand-up just isn't worth doing when you're with Kamar Usman. And so, coming into this fight, I'm obviously against Kelvin Gaslam. And Kelvin Gaslam is a good fighter. His boxing is very, very good. Obviously, this is a welterweight, so it's not the best Kelvin Gaslam there is. And you can come up against some very good Kelvin Gaslam fighters. And on this UFC in particular, he's he is very usable. I mean, the meta's obviously boxing heavy. And Kelvin's got the hand speed and the hand power. So, coming up against Kelvin is not, it's not an easy matchup. But, it's a five round fight. And normally I never go for takedowns in the first round. Because I don't want to showcase that that's my game plan. But with Kamar Usman, there's, there's no other choice. You, you have to take the fight to the ground. Because if you don't, you're going to get punished. And as you can see here, I shoot for a takedown. My opponent does a good job of the nine. Keeps you on the fence for a bit. And... One thing I want to say, if you don't get the takedowns, you have to use the other form of takedowns. You can try a chain takedown, put, push them against the cage and take down. And if you don't 
no, when you're trying to, you can take your opponents back. You can do turning takedowns as well, which makes it harder to deny. So, when I'm not having much success uh, grappling my opponent and I can't get them to the ground, what I opt for is to take my opponents back, and I actually take them down via their back, and I do a turning takedown. And sometimes that can lead to you being on side control, half guard. There's various forms of turning takedowns, and that's something maybe I'll make a video in the future. I'd have you guys look into if you want to use a grapple dominant style and this game obviously the meta is very boxing heavy and I'm trying to stay away from the meta because once this patch comes out it's going to ruin a lot of fighters because they're so used to constantly boxing the way through these exchanges and using ridiculous combinations and having their stamina fall that after this patch comes about it should fix the issue with stamina and people shouldn't be able to just power through your block and these people are going to have big problems because it's going to be people that play the game properly and learn how to grapple learn how to technically strike they're going to be very dominant and you know so i'll be trying to use grapplers more often I believe i'm going to have a couple of videos coming out with uh habib and daniel cormier grappling also and i think there's a skill right now that everyone should be working on and as you can see, it's the second round right now. I've got my opponent on the ground. And I'm doing a good job of just controlling my opponent. And I can imagine this is very, very frustrating. It's, but this is an Usman fight showcase. This is exactly what he does in real life. I mean, he'll get on top of you. And he'll just punch, give you little punches to the body. He'll clinch you and step on your toes. It doesn't matter. And people get very annoyed at him in real life. But it's a very effect, effective fight style. You can't hate on Usman for doing what he needs to do to win his fights and that's what I'm doing here I'm not leaving any chance I do not want this Kelvin to get on the feet because if he gets on the feet I'm gonna have a big problem and he'll probably rock and drop me my Kelvin does a good job here of uh, getting up I mean my opponent stamina wise probably isn't in the best position I've been dominating on the ground so the scorecards for both rounds are in my favour and this is a very Usman like performance is just dominating the rounds and looking for the decision and going into the third round my opponents obviously he needs to make some adjustments very fast because I've won two rounds guaranteed and if it goes to the scorecard if I win this, fight, if I win this round I've won and again I'm shooting for the takedown does a good job denying and this could be a turning point here in this fight if my opponent starts to deny these takedowns and forces me to have boxing exchanges i'm not going to be in a comfortable position and as you can see here after my opponent denied that takedown i tried to push him towards the cage with the clinch and force him to the mat he does a very good job of denying the takedown attempt i managed to stay on the feet where i've built up this damage i managed to get the that flash little uh, stun and using that flash stun to my advantage i then wrestle my opponent and get to the ground and one thing to note is Usman's ground a pound is relatively good i wouldn't say it's the best i mean there are other fighters in other weight classes that have ground and pound i'd say significantly better but what you want to do with Usman is you want to soften up your opponent you want to do damage where you can and you want to look to tire them so when they do eventually go on the feet it won't take much for you to stun them and Usman as far as submissions every time I've tried to submit an opponent it doesn't feel great and that's not a good thing considering Usman's whole fight his whole fighting style is getting fighters on the ground so when you do get the fight to the ground predominantly focus on ground and pound look for the submission when the opponent's tired and that's, that's the main thing you want to do I mean, with Usman, your fights are going to be very boring, but you're going to want to take, look to take very, very little damage, and you want to absolutely dominate your opponent. And that's what I'm looking to do here in this fight. I mean, this is the third round now, and first two rounds got my opponent to the ground and dominated, and this round's looking no different, and that's exactly how you want your fights to be going when you're using Usman. I'm, I'm moving, so the judges won't I mean sorry I'm moving so the ref won't put us up to our feet but my opponent's struggling here he doesn't know 
quite what to do. And where I've had two rounds of him on the ground already, I've picked up on these little patterns and I'm getting used to how my opponent is on the ground. And here you can see he gets a nice reversal of Kelvin. And he goes for the arm triangle. I'm not sure if that was a fake and I just denied it really quickly. And I put him into my full guard. And he does the right thing and gets up. And that's fine because there's 34 seconds to work with. And I've had the rest of the round. So going into round four, we're in a position now where we've probably done a good amount of damage to his stamina. We've taxed his head health and we've won comfortably but with the judges on the scorecards. I mean, if the judges give any of those rounds to Kelvin, then I'm not sure what they're doing. Probably realistic because the judges in real life have no idea what they're doing. However, just based on the pure dominance of the rounds, I'd have to say they were to me. So now I've won three rounds, there's two rounds left. I know all I need to do is not take damage and see out the rest of this fight. I mean, I can finish the fight if I want to, but I don't need to because as long as I get my opponent on the ground, I can work him, I can control him. If I want to look for a finish, I can. But the main thing I want to reinforce is when you're using Usman, you don't need to go for the finish. You can just stay on top and dominate. That's what you're looking to do. If you want to, you can obviously try to finish with the ground upon the submission. We have to pick the right time for it because like I say, his ground pounds is good, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. And his submission game doesn't feel amazing either. So you have to pick and choose the right times to implement these things because if you're going for ground pound constantly, they they start denying it or they sway the punches. Your stamina is going to be taxed, not leaving you in a good position. And they could sway and get out. And what you don't want is to be dominating someone. You think, right, let me go for this ground pound. You try ground a pound, use all your stamina, they sway, get up, they drop you. Because you had your force into a boxing exchange with no stamina. So that's why when I do get on top and I am ground and pounding, I'm throwing very, very little strikes. And as you can see from this position here, when I'm in my opponent's half guard, you can see I'm only throwing with uh, my left hand. And the reason I'm doing this is as soon as I throw my right, most opponents will then try to switch into full guards because they see your right hand's moving. So always throw with your left and use your right as like the denial hand. And to try, like I say, pick up on little habits. So as you can see here, I posture up. I use that to get to side control. And from side control, I'm starting to throw these little elbows. And I'm always pre-denying that side that my opponent is trying to go to always pre-deny there because that's the way if they if they go that way it's the easiest way for them to get out so i managed to deny there and go into the crucifix opponent does a good job there getting straight out of it and these little strikes are slowly 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 building up their damage i mean this is a fourth round now and it may not look like much but my opponent's stamina won't be in the best position with Usman on top of him i've done little strikes but they're all gonna add up his chin health won't be in the best position especially as you can see now i'm pouring on the elbows and here when they switch here i always hit the body just make sure i'm taxing that stamina my opponent works his way up and my opponent now has 30 seconds to work with so out of the whole the whole round which is five minutes he's had about a minute to work with in the area he needs to work with and i've had four minutes to implement my game plan and this is how you want the fight to be going you want to make it so that your opponent is extremely uncomfortable and you, you just want to dominate them and this is a very good Usman showcase I believe because I haven't I've taken little to no damage I've taken my opponents to the ground where possible and that's it that's all Usman needs to do and as you can see shoot for a takedown here my opponent denies and that's fine we, we we back off, we let our stamina recover and we look to shoot again because I don't want to be in these boxing exchanges. I'm trying to work in my takedowns here, I shoot for one, just out of range. And now as you can see, look already, where we're standing, my opponent's already starting to load off on me. Okay, he's, He knows he's down four rounds and he's looking for the finish. So this round is more important than ever because I'm four rounds up but that doesn't mean nothing if my opponent gets the finish. 
So here I drive my opponent to the cage and then I choose to back off. Have him in the clinch, doing a little bit of damage. I go for the clinch there but my opponent punches which denies the clinch. And I need to get my opponent on the ground because I don't want to run the risk of me getting dropped and him getting the finish. Shoot for a takedown here, go to the back, my opponent gets out. So my opponent's doing a good job this round of avoiding the takedowns. And at the moment it's looking like a good round for him. And he's pressuring me. He's doing the right things this round, he's denying the takedowns, he's pressuring me where he can. And he's forcing me to box with Usman, which is one thing I don't want to do. Shoot for the takedown here. And I get it this time. He opts to get up. So when you get someone up against the cage, you can either take their back or do damage with some knees. He manages to get away, so I clinch. I always do this in the later rounds in a five round fight. I look to clinch and tire out the stamina. And when someone gets your back in this position, just go to ground straight away. Don't let them tire you out because now I can take him to the ground. And I haven't attempted one submission this, this whole fight. I deny his transition and I go straight for the choke. And this is what you want to do. Because I haven't gone for one submission, I've only gone for ground and pound throughout these rounds because I know Usman's submissions aren't great. The one time I do go for a submission, my opponent doesn't expect it. It's the fifth round. He's been beat up real bad for the past four rounds. This is the only round he's had any sort of success. And I've, go, I've gone for the choke. And Usman's submissions, like I said, they're, they're not great, but they're not the worst. And my opponent's struggling to get out of the submissions. And I, I submit my opponent in the last round. So that's a true Usman showcase. I mean, it's not going to be fun, but it's effective if done well. And you can implement ground and pound. You don't want to get caught with any strikes. You want it on the ground. Do little increments of damage and build it up across the three or five rounds in whichever rounds you're fighting in. And here, I wasn't looking for a finish, but I got one because my opponent made a mistake. So I end up winning the fight via submission in the fifth round. So the scorecards are going to come up so you can see what the judges had it scored and the fight stats. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.